If you wanna turn your long form videos into viral shorts, I've got the workflow right for you. Now, previously, I put out another workflow using the service Submagic that'll generate clips from short videos that we make. All you gotta do is take your phone, film something, and then it would add the subtitles, the B-roll, the zooms, all that really cool effects. Well, Submagic also has another great feature that I wanna show you about that I built a workflow that'll take long form videos and it'll chop them up into viral shorts. Now, I'll admit my content isn't exactly designed to look great in viral short format because you know I got myself here in the corner and you know I'm mostly showing my screen and so when it goes and it chops up my videos like we'll go ahead and open one of these real quick you'll see you know here's a, a video that I had posted on YouTube there I am in the corner so like it actually zoomed in on me where the action was so you have to imagine that you know you've got yourself in the in the video your middle of the screen it's going to be able to zoom in it's going to be able to chop it up it's going to make it long form uh, uh, horizontal vertical all of the above and be able to add the subtitles it adds the color so you see it adds emojis so it's able to take the long form video and turn them into nice, crisp, short form videos if you've got the right long form video to do it, all right? So that's the only caveat I'm gonna make. Um, it, you know, it took this one video, I, I tested it on two different videos here, and it just pulls it directly from YouTube. Um, and that's how this does it, it uses a YouTube URL. So anything that you have on YouTube, you'll be able to pull. You're not gonna be able to just upload a video. Although you can do that directly within Submagic. And if you think this is going to be helpful for you, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like and share the video. It really does help. So here's Submagic. All you got to do is log in. And then if you want to upload, all you do is you can just click here, generate captions. It'll upload the video or you can do the magic clips, get magic clips. And that's um, it takes the, the long form video and turns it into short form. So you'll see I uploaded a couple videos here. One of them it made 23 clips and this other one it made 19 clips. Um, and these videos weren't particularly long. Uh, this one here, my old sub magic video, uh, I think was like 14 minutes long. It found 23 clips and this lead scraper one was about 11 minutes long so it found clips now um the quality of the clips you know some of them are pretty decent at least it found good places where i, I was clearly saying a discreet thing um some of them not so good so it's a good thing it makes a lot of these because it gives you some options to be able to choose from and what we do is we have this workflow here it goes through and it processes the videos it chops them up so here we have another process that sends it to uh, Submagic it processes it it then goes through this other process here which just downloads the video and uploads it back into our Google Drive for us so all you have to do is you use a Google Sheet add the title of the video, add the URL for the video, and just click a box saying begin processing, and it'll go through the whole thing and generate all of those clips that you can then go and post on TikTok, on your Instagram as Reels, on YouTube as Shorts, um, whatever you want. All right, here's our workflow. I actually just updated, as I was recording, I'm like, you know what, I can make it a little bit better. So I updated a little bit, uh, fixed a couple things. That way there's not gonna be some downstream errors that you might have had if I had done it uh, the way it was. So it's all good now. Uh, what we do is we have our Google Sheets trigger and here you have to have your Google Sheets trigger credentials here. For some reason, NADN requires a trigger set of credentials and a regular Google Sheets credentials in order to use both. I don't know why, not just one, but it is what it is. In order to create, it. You just click over here, create new credential, I'll pop up a window. I'll have another video. I'll link it in the description below on how to set up your Google Cloud Console and get all your Google credentials set up. So go ahead and click that if you don't know how. We're just gonna have it set to poll every minute and it's gonna pull this uh, spreadsheet over here, which is our Submagic Magic Clips Generator and our sheet is input. So here we go, here's our um, our spreadsheet, we have our title, we have a URL for our YouTube video. All right, it has to be located in YouTube. And you're gonna click begin processing when you want it to start. Um, and then we have another sheet over here for output where all the clips are gonna be placed. It was one of the things that I updated as I, I realized Never added that last node. It's like, oh, go ahead. here we go. As I'm recording, let me fix it real quick. Um, but I'll go ahead and add it there. And what it's doing is every minute it's checking for the rows to be updated. We're gonna run it through a quick filter here to make sure two things. One, that this 
clip processed is empty. And we do that because if you're adding these in and you're clicking begin, you add the next one, you click begin, you add the next one, click begin, and it begins processing, you don't want it to grab the same clip multiple times because it hasn't done it yet, right? You want to only grab it once, process it once, and then output it once, not multiple times, because you don't want to use up your credits over on Submagic. Uh, and the second thing is we make sure the begin processing checkbox is marked to true. We then go in and we have this Google Sheets node here, which again, separate set of credentials for some reason, but we're going to go ahead and match it on our video URL, and then we're going to fill in in progress. So if you add a bunch of these in in one minute, it's going to mark them as in progress. That way it doesn't accidentally, you know, trigger it a second time on the same video. Uh, this was one of the things that I, ha I actually had it within the loop. And then I thought about this and I'm like, wait, but this could take like five, 10 minutes. So like, uh, we don't want that. So I brought it out in front, uh, fixed it before I published it. And that's great. And uh, then we pass all our information in here. This edit field node is gonna grab our video title. It's gonna grab our video URL, and it's gonna pass it to this sub workflow here, which is actually this process down here. Now this process down here, what we're doing is we're getting our video U URL and our title, the same thing we just set over here in our edit fields node, and we're gonna pass that to Submagic. So you're gonna wanna have this URL endpoint here, which is just HTTPS colon slash slash api.submagic.co slash v1 slash projects slash magic dash clips. And then you want to set up a generic credential type. It's going to be header auth. And you can set up your Submagic API here. To be able to do that, you just come over here, up here. And then you come over to account settings and API. And this is where you generate your API key. Just click regenerate key or generate key and it'll give it to you. Obviously, it doesn't show it to you again once you have already done it. So you're not going to be able to see mine. And then you put it in there, save that credential, and then move on. And now our JSON body that we're sending is this here. It's going to be title, language, YouTube URL, the webhook URL, and then the user theme ID. Now, you don't have to have the user theme ID. I have it because I want mine to look a certain way. Um, in order to generate that, you come back over to Submagic. And then uh, when you're editing your video, so I'll just go ahead and grab one of these here. Um, let's go to edit. And then to so customize. And this is where you grab your theme ID. So where, whatever style that you have, however you've updated or edited your particular style, this is your theme ID right here. And this is what you would copy, bring over and put into here in order to make sure that your uh, subtitles match what you want it to look like. All right, so our title is simply just json.title. We're pulling that from our uh, when executed by another workflow node. Our my language is English. You can obviously change that to your language if you want. Our YouTube URL is json.youtube underscore URL. And then our webhook URL. This is where the Submagic is gonna send all of our clips and information back to us. Now, in order to get this to work, we're actually gonna use a wait node set to webhook. All right, so we're gonna have it on webhook call. And it tells us right here that our webhook is gonna be generated at the time of execution using this expression here, which is just dollar sign expression dot resume URL. So that's what we're gonna grab. And we bring it over here and we just put that in here in our uh, braces and now it becomes an expression. And in fact, it'll show it here that it's filled at the time of execution. So we don't actually know what our webhook URL is until it actually runs. And so it, the system will automatically fill it in for you. You don't have to worry about generating a webhook URL or having the same webhook URL. It'll create it for that particular execution for that particular video. So everything will work out on its own. You don't have to worry about it. This will run, and this will then pass all of our information to Submagic, and then Submagic is gonna be processing, and our wait node is gonna wait.
And it's just going to sit there and it's going to wait until Submagic finishes processing. It's going to send back based on our callback URL. And so we have this set up like a typical webhook where we have it method as post. Our response code is 200 and our respond is going to be immediately. So as soon as Submagic is done, it's going to say, hey, we're all done. It's going to send our webhook call back to our wait node. Our wait node is going to finish because it gets its required notice and then it's going to pass it on. We are then going to get all of the videos that get sent in that webhook response. We're going to split them out based on body dot magic clips because that's what we're going to get here. And uh, I think here is what we uh, you'll see here. I have um, what it was based on my last successful execution. And so we're going to, you know, here's body and then magic clips is where all of our clips are going to be located. We're going to break that out. That's the only thing we need. We don't need any other fields. We're then going to pass all of that information to this other workflow I have here for you, sending our download URL and our clip name to here. Here we have an HTTP node, which is going to download our video. It's going to then upload it to Google Drive. So again, set up your Google Drive credentials here. Operation is upload. Input data field name and this data, because that's what we got from our last node. Our field name, our file name, I have as our date, which is year, month, day. And then the name of the clip. That way you can see when it was uploaded. And because of, you know, this thing can get kind of out of hand. Um, unless you have some sort of filing system name that you're going to build into it. So I just built it in with uh, the date that I upload the video and then the, the name of the clip that it generated. And then um, I'm going to download it or should I say upload it into my Submagic downloaded folder. Obviously, you, if you have your own folder you wanted to upload into, set that for yourself. But I have it you know, here into my folder. And then um, I have it here. I just added this because apparently I forgot it before I started recording. Um, this node here is uh, Google Sheets and we're going to update our Google Sheets uh, file, our document over here, our output with the name of our clip, our download URL and our Google Drive link. Please forgive me, I didn't include it when I was going to start. I'm like, wait a second, what? Oh, right. Um, and so here we're just gonna take our clip name from the start of our workflow, our download URL from the start of our workflow. So if you wanna download it yourself again in the future, and then our Google Drive link for where we're able to find that um, if you wanna download it from Google Drive. So you'll have both options available to you. And uh, then it passes the information back over here. We're gonna limit it because it's gonna process all of those clips, just limit it down to one. So here we have one. And then we're gonna update our Google Sheets based on our video URL, our YouTube video URL, and we're just gonna mark it as done. That way, when you come back over to your spreadsheet, you're gonna see which ones are in progress still and which ones have been completed. That way you have a nice little dashboard of all of your information. So as you can see, this is a nifty little workflow that allows you to take your long form videos that you've published onto YouTube and chop them up really quick into short form content without any of the extra hassle of having to try to figure out which clips make sense, without having to add in the subtitles or the effects. It all does it automatically right there within Submagic. It's one of my favorite tools. It's pretty much the only tool I've ever used and have actually been willing to sponsor. So I really love Submagic. I use it almost every day to make all kinds of content. And hopefully you guys enjoy this workflow. If you want a copy of today's workflow, simply click the link in the description below to go to our free school community where you can download this and a host of other useful NADN workflows. Once inside, you'll find all of our free downloads in the classroom, as well as instructions on how to set everything up and all the tools you'll need to get it running, as well as a host of other helpful NADN tutorials. And if you're serious about building AI automation tools into your business using NADN, be sure to check out our advanced community where we give new tools each week that will actually make a difference in your business. This is where we keep all of our exclusive tools and resources for committed business owners looking to ride this AI wave. In addition, you'll get direct access to me to help you through your setup and tech issues, our business building course library, and so much more. And as always, I'm Bradford Carlton. Let's automate your success together.